Sound design tutorial number one. Hey everyone, here's a quick sound design tutorial on how I turned a goose honk into a nice horn sound to use in my music. You can do this with any sound, so find a sound you like and give it a try. First, open a sampler. Here I'm using Simpler, which is one of Ableton Live stock samplers. I'm going to use this recording of geese that I made earlier this year. I then loaded that sample into my sampler. It's important that you turn off warping and turn on looping. We'll need the looping in a bit. Now let's listen to it. You need to play the root note, which is the note where the sample isn't pitch shifted. In Ableton, this is C3. I'm programming this in the piano roll to play the note continuously while I'm getting started. Now that I've checked that the sample's playing correctly, let's only play a small piece of that sample. I want to start with only a single honk to get the character of that sound. Now I'm going to use a sampling trick and capture only a tiny piece of that sound to get a waveform with the timbre that I'm looking for. This waveform basically becomes your oscillator waveform rather than using a wavetable. Ignore the pitch for now. It will sound better once we tune it. Let's look at the signal under a spectrum analyzer. As you can see, changing the start and stop times changes the waveform. Not only does it change the pitch, but it also changes the timbre of the sound. Before we can use this, we need to tune the sample. I will use Ableton's tuner and double check it with the spectrum analyzer. This works because the sound is very static and is constantly playing. This doesn't work for a lot of sounds, like a kick, but it'll work well for what we're doing. I can now tune the sample by transposing it to the note being played, a C, and then use a detuning control to tune it to the exact pitch. Once tuned, I can then double check the frequencies in the spectrum analyzer. Now I can play a few notes and see how it sounds. The sound is still a little too static, but we'll fix that soon. Now we need to set the amplitude envelope. Because I want this to be a horn-like sound, I will increase the attack time to give it a slower attack. For this sound, we don't need to worry about the decay time, since we'll be adding a long reverb to the sound. Now for the finishing step. For this sound, I want to add a huge reverb. I'll be using Valhalla Supermassive. It's an amazing free plugin that I highly recommend. I'm going to select the Triangulum Hall preset. And that's it. After tweaking the waveform a bit, here's the final sound of my unfinished song. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe so that you can catch the next tutorial. Until then, keep on making music and let me know what you think in the comments below.